Right. Other build. See this guy? This is my reactor. And it's a good reactor. It's a reactor of distinction. Okay, it's producing 702 um, RS per tick. Well, 701 and a bit. Which is going very well to powering my stuff. But, there is a problem with it. Okay, we are currently... We currently have the control rod 40% removed, okay? This means the higher that number, the less radioactive material we are using to provide the power we need, okay? Which means, you know, basically we're using 60% of our available power of this reactor now. And as we build stuff for this, and as we build other stuff about the base, that number is going to go down and down. And there's one last thing I want to build in this corner, which is going to be absolutely massive in terms of power drain so this reactor is no longer going to cut it handy double compressed cobblestone so it's time for us to build something more powerful more powerful than our reactor and what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn this which is a passively called reactor uh, which basically means it's takes in radioactive material and we draw the electricity from it directly and we're going to turn this into an actively cooled reactor which means what this is going to do is this is just going to heat up water and make steam and we're going to pass it through a turbine to make that steam into uh, electricity so to do that we're going to need this stuff and these bits are going to go into the reactor and this stuff is to make the turbine. So let's grab this stuff first. Turbine housing. Why do I have turbine housing? Oh, I see why. It's because I need more than 64 turbine housing. That's okay. Right. So, the first thing we need to do, okay, to change this over, is to get electricity into this. So the first thing I, I, I want to do here is I want to turn this thing off. So let's deactivate the reactor. And that means from now on, everything is running off the batteries and it's not going to last long. So let's get up here. And I want to take these nooks off. And I want to keep these nooks because I want to use them later on. Thank you. Thank you. And finally, this is going to be the one that messes up. Yeah, that works as well. Okay. And then, down here. Okay, if we look at the back of this. Alright, at the moment what we do is we feed in Yellorium, Yellorium in here. And we get cyanide outside. So that's our radioactive material, Yellorium. And then at the back of this, we draw electricity down to the, that powers everything. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to disengage this electrical bit. So let's do that straight away. Like that. And instead we're going to pump water in here to get turned into steam, which we will do. And in fact, let me get flying because the last thing I want to do is get swept into oblivion by this. So we'll knock out that piece of glass and we'll put instead one of these reactor coolant ports. So let's pop that in there. Like that. Wait for the redstone to dry away. There we go. Brilliant. That's going to lag like mad for a bit. And let's look at this. The important thing here, okay, is the arrows. The arrows are pointing in to show that this is an inlet. Okay, and if I show you this, down here we've got a pool of water which is basically being sucked up by these pumps and it's going up here. So if you okay, so this water will come up here and all we just need to do is complete the the circuit there. 
don't need electrical wiring for a while okay so like that oh, hold on lag hit me there for a second okay so that's now got water coming in and if we restart this which we will do in a second that will turn the water into steam but what we need to do now is get rid of this reactor power tap because we no longer need it um, let's make sure we've got the right thing to put in place first so let's get some reactor glass so we're just going to take that out replace it with glass so there we go and I'm sure I'll use that reactor power tap later on no I don't think I ever will again but I've still got it so now if we fly over here and turn this back on Okay, you see we've got water and steam now. Um, let's press O, get rid of that. We've got no steam, but we've got loads of water. So let's turn this on. Activate reactor. Water goes down, steam goes up. So we've now got 9,800 millibuckets of steam being prepared. You see this is really heating up. and I'll deal with that later on. So let's turn this off. So now we've got steam. Now we need to do something with it. And what we're going to do is I'm going to place two more of these reactor coolant ports in the back of the reactor. Okay, and they are going to provide steam to the turbine, and then afterwards they're going to take the uh, the cooled steam back into here to be heated up again. So it's basically a circuit. And let's one there. Okay, and I'm absolutely terrified of being swept to my doom doing this. Okay, so we'll pop that in there. And we're going to need to do exactly the same over here. No, come back. Tell you what, let's put a block here, because that will make it easier. Uh, I've got some wood, that will do nicely. Let's just pop the wood blank there, that'll make it easier. Right, so let's pop that glass out. I think I lost that one, and let's put that in there. Oh no, it's down there, and now we can get rid of this, so matic it away. Right. So this is a bit confusing because basically they're saying all input, no output. And we'll deal with that by taking our wrench to it. And if we right click with the wrench, let's do this one. OK, that one becomes an output. So now we've got steam that can come out here and water that can go back in here. And now what we need to do is make the turbine on top of it. Yeah, I don't think that uh, bathing in radioactive redstone is... I don't think bathing in redstone is a good idea to start, to be honest with you. Okay, let's take a few things off and let's get the first bits of the reactor to together. So we're going to want that. We're going to want the turbine housing. Well, the turbine rotor, let's take that last few bits there. Okay. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to build the turbine on top of the reactor. Now, I don't want to put it next to it, so we're going to use this graphite, which is a non-conductive material, to provide some legs, like that. And then on top of that, we need to build turbine housing, like this. And we're going to do everything except for the middle, which I shall do in just a second let's get this done so okay and here one there one there okay and then here we will put in the rotor bearing and what's going to happen is the rotor of the turbine is going to sit on this and this is what's going to turn it okay so that's the base and then we want to build up two three four five and same in each corner one two three four five same here oh running low on energy two three four five 
and one, two, that might be a problem, X3, three, four, five, and then on top of that, on top of that we need to put the top of the housing, but I don't want to do all of it, I want to leave a gap to get in, so we'll just put the edge of it on at the moment, and we'll do the end of it in, whoa, what happened there? Just put the edge on and then we'll put the rest of it on later on. So, like this, and like this, and like this. Okay, and now if we, we leave this with nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's the rest of the turbines we need. Okay, so we'll pop that into our inventory like that. Let's go and get some more stuff. So let's have a look at what we've got. Now we've got turbine glass, which is going to be the sides, and we've got the turbine controller, and we've got two turbine fluid ports. Now that, that's all that's all the next step, so let's pop up here again. So we'll put the turbine controller on the front, and we will put the fluid ports on the back. Okay, we want one going in, and as, as as before, we want one coming out. So we go back to our wrench and give that a bit of a whack. Whack! There we go. And, and we might as well just get that set up now, to be honest with you. So let's, let's do this. So we've got an out coming in and an out going to an in. So then what we need to do now is connect them up. So like this. Like that and same over here and get back in here so I'm trying to save uh, power because hey we turned the reactor off uh, let's get rid of that one on the edge there because we don't need it there we go right that's gone forever right so that's that's the this is the turbine controller and this is going to pump the water in uh, the steam in and after the steam has been used and cooled down, this will pump it out its water back into the reactor. Okay, so now what we need to do is get the turbine glass up so we feel nice and snug and safe. But there's something else we've got to build in here, so we might as well do all of it at the same time, to be honest with you. So let's go and get it. So back down to the ground we go, because we need to make two more things. Put that there, that there, and that there. Let's get the stuff down. All right, so the turbine rotor is turned by the turbine blades, and then at the top of it, we need to have something to generate the uh, the uh, energy, and we're going to use blocks of gold. They're different materials, so you use different amounts of power. Um, Rawley, if you an out to an out and an in to an in. Oh, I better go and change that. Thank you. Uh, please, guys, criticize, okay? Because I'm talking to you and playing this game at the same time. And I've never built a reactor before. So, quite honestly, if I do it wrong, I'm going to do it wrong. And you guys can point this out to me. So, out to an out and an in to in. Yeah, okay, I've done those wrong way around. All right. So, let's just do that. Let's just sort that out quickly. So, let's go and get me the old wrench. And if I whack that. And I whack that. There they go. That makes sense. Okay. Right. And so we'll put a turbine rotor shaft in the middle. And then on the edge of it, we shall put some rotor blades like that. And we'll do repeat this on the way up. So like that. And put some glass down here. Doink, doink, and doink, doink. No, I'm not going to do doinks all the time. Just consider it doinked, okay? So like that, and now we can put two more rotor blades. And this is a this is a design choice of my own. Okay, you could have four here. You can have. Uh, it's totally up to you how this is laid out. Different um, turbines have different uh, efficiency levels. They don't require different blades. I'm not saying I've got this right. I'm just saying I've got it. Okay, so this is how we're going to arrange this so far. So another one of these. Glass around the edge, like 
like this. And cut the blades. So I'm just doing this because I like the pattern, basically. And this is going to be the last bit of the rotor blades. Because we're nearly at the top. Okay, like this. And there you go. One more blade and a final blade. And then the rotor shaft goes up one more. Let's put the glass in. And please, guys, you know, I claim no expertise. This is the first modded Minecraft game I've ever, ever played. So, for all I know, I'm doing every single thing wrong, and I value your advice. And at the top here, we will put in the ring of gold blocks. That will be what generates the electricity. And then all we have to do is, well, let's eat a burger. And then put the last of, not a reactor power tap. Uh, the turbine housing in, and if we've done the job right, and yeah, that's that's the traditional beating of the turbine with the hamburger. It's a, it's a long, well-held tradition. It's done in many countries of the world. If your country doesn't do it, I I feel sad for you to be totally honest with you. So here we go, and if this works, this should change pattern. It worked. It changed pattern. Okay, so oh, great. Ah, turn me jetpack on. Right. Okay, so now we've got two things turned off. Let's turn them both on. So first of all, we will turn on the reactor. Okay, that's instantly created a load of steam, and it's really, really heating up. Well, we'll deal with the heating up in a bit, but let's first of all, let's turn on this, activate... Okay, so steam, loads of steam. There we go. Start to generate electricity. One, two, three, four. Power tap. Okay, so let's get that installed. And see if we can work out why this is not working. And I'm kind of hoping that it's this because it's lacking this. We'll find out in a minute. Oh, so this. Do the same trick. Like that. There we go. Grab that, put a power tap in. There we go, and it's there we go, matic because it matics, and then we'll just put in energy. Yep, yeah, there we go. All right, and now hopefully we can turn this thing on, and it will work. Right, so okay, activate. We've got steam. These are the wrong way round. Intake fluid. <laughs> no wonder it's not working. <laughs> okay, right. Right, now let's get some. Okay, so let's get fluid ducts. Let's get our ducts in a row. Now we've got that, we can just jump in place. Oh, steam. oh, okay. I... Yeah, I think I see what the problem is here. Let's turn... Go back over here. Sorry, guys! Okay. Oh, look at this run! 
In fact, look, we've gone over the top. And we're producing, okay, so what we need to do here is, let's just get rid of that so you can see it. We need to turn this down. Let's turn it down to about 300. Now that slowed up the speed, speeding up, but still too fast. So let's slow it down, let's say it's about 250. All right, and the speed is, the, 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 the rotational speed is going down. And we're still getting lots of power being generated. We want this to stop somewhere around about 1800. If that goes too low, we'll turn this up a little bit. But we should be all right. Because that's the one I worked out how to use first. If there's a more efficient cable, Rory, please let me know. Okay, we're dropping under. Let's give it a little bit more. So, 255. 260. Still going down. It's 265. That's going up now. But this is the number I'm looking at the RPM. Okay, that's the one we want to get close to 1800. I think with a little bit of manipulation, we'll get that right. Energy, yeah, I, I've got a, a energy conduit, so I, I ran into those later on, but I've got red net all over the place at this point, so I never really wanted to change. There we go, I think we're going to stop just by 1719, I think that's close enough. Okay, so, right, when we were just running this and drawing power from it, it was producing around about 750 RF a turn, so we're using that power and we're pushing it through. When we just used the uh, the reactor here on its own, it was producing around about 750 RFs a turn. Now we're using the same amount of energy, but we're passing it through this turbine. As you can see, we're producing 1,659 RFs a turn tick sorry which is yeah you know, more than well it's almost two and a half times the amount of energy so that is a really really good production and it appears that our turbine is 95 percent effective because it's using eight out of ten possible blades so my guess wasn't bad there to be totally honest with you and I think that stopped going up, so we're just short of 1800, and it looks like we've got a nice, efficient turbine there. We're producing lots and lots of power, and if we we go and look in a second, I'm sure we're going to be using uh, we, we, all our but the devices are going to be working the great. So first things first, I want to have a quick look at the turbine because I've still got a problem with it. If I turn it on, you see this is actually dangerously hot. Okay, we're producing lots of steam. Okay, we're using a lot of yellorium, uh, but we're really, really hot. All right, so the reason for that is we don't even... The, one of the nice things about this is we're not going to need to use nearly as much... Uh, let's put a block here so I can stand on it. There we go. All right, we're not going to need to use nearly as much of the fuel rod as we've got. So we've got it at forty percent at the moment. So I think if we put this back to eighty, and then go down here, that temperature is going down, and we're still producing the same amount. In fact, I think that the amount we produce will go up as this cools down back into the blue level because the, the, the thing will become more efficient. Let's watch it and see. Uh, uh, staying about the same. As long as it's working all right, that's all that really matters to me. 
Apparently the top tier of energy conduit I use is 10 times more efficient than redneck cable. Got to be honest, I don't think I really need that much efficiency for agrarian skies, but it'd be nice to have, wouldn't it? Right. I think we're actually got a little bit of a limitation that we're not getting enough water coming in here. But that's something I can deal with. That water thing should be full at all times. And then we're not producing much steam, and I think this would actually be more efficient if I produce more steam. But that is a little detail I can sort out. As you can see, the temperature now is going down to a safe level. It's out of the red, it's into the blue, and slowly that'll improve. But this, to be totally honest with you guys, is the important reason. This is why this is so funky. Look at that go. Yeah. 